I think we would all agree that we need wisdom. We need the ability to use knowledge and to make application in our lives and I think we all understand that's vital to the way we live. Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan Burns and thank you for joining me on Tuesday Tips. These are practical tips from the books of poetry in the Old Testament. And I want to remind you if you're in the area of Asia to go and see the brethren over at the Jurong Church of Christ. You can find them on Facebook by searching Jurong Church of Christ or even go to their website at jurongcoc.org and there you can find all sorts of information that will help you be a Bible student. That's what Tuesday Tips is about, taking God's Word and learning more about our lives so that we can better our lives, but more importantly, so we can serve a holy God. We're looking today in the book of Ecclesiastes and we're going to look at wisdom in life. Our last session focused on vanity and vanity is the major theme in the book of Ecclesiastes. We have a man who's gone through the world and he's searched for all the pleasures and all the things that might fulfill one and he says vanity of vanities, all is vanity. So what is this book really about? We see these great searches, we see these great lives, the world might say, but what's the book about? I want you to see a couple of verses that will help us. And it all comes out of Ecclesiastes chapter 12. The first is Ecclesiastes 12, 1 and 2. We need to consider our time. Remember now your Creator in the days of your youth, before the difficult days come, and the years draw near when you say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun and the light, the moon and the stars are not darkened, and the clouds do not return after the rain. Here the writer is telling us that youth is a blessing. Uh, we see a number of things that happen through life and I, I don't mean to be morbid about this and certainly I don't mean to be disrespectful, but the aging process is hard. We see a child who is very young and we see a flourishing life. But as that life begins to age, problems arise, don't they? Things don't work like they should. Pains come out of nowhere. Things aren't functioning as they used to. The eyes, the writer of Ecclesiastes says, the eyes begin to dim. And the writer here tells us in verses 1 and 2 to consider the Creator before it gets too hard. He said, life, it comes. Life, it goes Remember your Creator. Now I want to take a side note here and talk to parents. I'm a parent and, and, and maybe you are a parent today. And what I mean by parents is if you have a child. The interesting thing is we never are away from being a child of our parent. If you have a child, instruct your child. Teach your child. Show them the ways of the Lord. And the greatest way you can do that and I can do that is being who we're supposed to be being the husband and wife we should be, being the father and mother that we should be, being the Christian that we should be. That's what he's telling us here in chapter 12. He says, figure this out. And then he tells us to, as we focus in the book, to know our purpose. It's in verses 13 and 14 we read these words. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is man's all. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. As a preacher, I spend a large amount of time trying to craft lessons, and, and I don't mean craft things of my own mind, taking the Scriptures and using them for us to see what the Scriptures say, not what we would want them to say. And I, I tell folks all the time, Sunday comes every seven days. Yeah, every seven days, I have lessons that are due. Uh, throughout the week, I teach a number of lessons. I teach a Bible class on Sunday morning. I preach two sermons on Sunday. I have a Monday evening or Monday afternoon program that's just like this one. Then there's this program. I teach two classes on Wednesday. I spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to tell Christians the same thing they've always heard in a different way so they think it's refreshing. But the writer of Ecclesiastes, he doesn't pull any punches. He just says, here's how it is. Fear God, keep His commandments, for this is man's all. Then he adds this, verse 14, you can't hide nothing from God. Everything's going to be brought into judgment, whether good 
or evil. So what we need to do is we need to know our purpose. And I think that's great wisdom from life when we think about Tuesday tips, practical tips from poetry. Now don't forget that you can go see the folks at the Jerong Church of Christ. Go see them on Facebook, find their address, get some contact information, send them a message, and learn more about them so that you can learn more about the Scriptures. Grab your Bible, read it, and understand it. And know that you can always look to the books of poetry, and you can always come right back here for Tuesday Tips as we study practical tips from poetry.